Prophet the Psychic coming back at you again with another video. Okay, people. Now, I've already told y'all in another in the preview that I did with Simona Hollop versus uh, Sloan Stevens. Now, somebody asked me, a one of the commenters asked me. Now, I know I said something that... Uh, I, that, listen, man, I know Simona. I know I've chose Sloan Stevens, and I'm sticking with that. I, that's in my preview. But my, 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 my girl, Simona, I know she can win. But I think I said in a, that video I made about why are fans so excited or something. I made another video about Simona Hollop and the Sloan Stevens match. And I said I went back and watched. I was watching Simona Hollop highlights. And, man, she is on another level. So somebody asked me, well, do you want to change your thing? No, I just leave it the same way. If she wins, I give her all the prompts. And that's what I'm going to do in this video, people. People, people listen. I've already told y'all that this is a huge match for Simona Hollop. Because, and everybody know why. Because she needs to win that major because she's already a little great. She's number one. She's been in three finals, two French Open finals, uh, one Australian Open finals that she lost against uh, Wozniacki, and, and she had a chance in all of them. And some of them, she was leading the third set. So she needs to win uh, to, to so she can really call herself great and really be great, okay? And great and great and super great. Lead to super greatness. Okay, but people, listen here. Uh, so that, that was the negative aspect that and she it'll be a bad loss for her. And I know Sloan Stevens is good and she she has an excuse. But she don't have an excuse because Simona Hollum is playing on another level. I will be honest, I almost want to change my pick, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because I say Sloan Stevens is good enough for her. And I don't want to change it because I like, see, listen, it, people, listen. Simona Hollis is my, one of my favorite players. So if she win, I win personally. So I don't really, so I mean, um, no, I, no, I don't want to change my pick, though. I'm, don't forget, I'm being fair. Even, no, I want to keep it the same. I, I, I gave my reasons. I gave a legit reason why I think Sloan Stevens can win. So I want to leave that. Now let's get back to this video. People, check this out. If Simona Holler wins, this is all positive for my little tennis princess here. Check that. My tennis princess. If the tennis princess, I'm putting that name out now. If the tennis princess wins, Simona Holler, uh, the French Open. Okay, people. People, she has a chance if she doesn't get injured. Okay. That's what sort of messed up a few years ago. She was on a roll. Okay. And she, now she's getting, she's back. She, she, people, she was in the finals of the French Open. People, that means something. I know, I know, see, a lot of people, the finals, you can look at the finals in two ways. And I did a video way back in September saying people, Wikipedia counts the finals. That's why I told people to think about Federer. What, what, people don't understand something about Federer. The reason why... I think it's going to be hard for Nadal to surpass Federer. It got to do with how many semifinal and finals Federer has been in. Okay? And Rod Laver, too. See, see, and people don't understand. That counts. Even the finals that Federer lost against Nadal, at the end of the day, Wikipedia counts that in historians. Okay, people, now check this out. Simona Hollop. She didn't win the, she didn't beat Wozniacki in the Australian Open, but she was in the final of the Australian Open. Let's say she wins the French Open, okay? The Wimbledon is coming up in three weeks. Simona so Hollop, let's say she wins the Wimbledon. She's the favorite. Listen, she's the favorite for the Wimbledon and the favorite for the U.S. Open. Let's suppose she wins one of those and she makes it to the finals of one of those, okay? People, she's dominated the year. She's dominated the year, okay? Uh, the only way she that won't happen if 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 either Wozniacki, who's already won one major, let's Wozniacki come back and win the uh, uh, Wimbledon, or Sloane Stevens wins the French Open, then Sloane Stevens defends her title and wins the U.S. Open again, okay? But if but if none of those girls, if either if Wozniacki doesn't win any more majors this year. And let's say Sloan Stevens doesn't win the French Open. Basically, what I'm saying, you basically well, imagine, man, what, what are you trying to get at? I mean, you're saying, okay, uh, Sloan, oh, you're saying that Simona Hollop is um, 
Uh, I mean, what are you saying? What I'm saying is, dude, she, I mean, she could dominate the year. In other words, I'm telling you, if she wins the French Open, she can say, even though she didn't win the Australian Open, she was in the final, so she almost owned that half of it. Right? If you was in the final of a, uh, like, Team can say he half owned the French Open, like, you know, even if he lost against the Dow. Okay. And, but, but what I'm saying is, people, Simona Hollop. She's the favorite to win the Wimbledon. She's the favorite to win the U.S. Open. And there's a great chance that she... And let's see, listen here. If she wins the French Open, people, I think Simona Hollum, if she get over the hump here, because she's so... She already got this mental focus. She got this deep core now, like the Dow. You hear a grunt now? I think that... She may never lose in a major again. She sort of got that. That so some people got that now. That you probably say, but imagine, man, she ain't even won yet. She got problems winning a major. No, no, no. Check it out. If she get over the hump, see what she get. She's she, Simona Holler come across to me that if she get over the hump. It's like once she get over the hump, there's no looking back. She just needs to get over the hump. Cause like I told you people, she, I don't understand why she doesn't have a major yet. Cause she doesn't, she ain't like some, she ain't like a Madison Keys who obviously chokes on the surface. It's probably something unconscious with Simona Holler, maybe in her belief system. She don't believe in herself unconsciously. But if she overcome that tomorrow, people listen, she could dominate the whole year. You know what I'm saying? And I, yeah, she's the favorite. Like I said, she's the favorite to win the Wimbledon. She probably, she could win one of those. Win one of them or the U.S. Open. And then she could say she dominated the year. So she'll be number one and have two or three majors. Okay? So this is huge for her in a positive way. And it's huge in a negative, negative way. And people, check this out. Let's say at the worst. Say she loses tomorrow. She loses tomorrow, people. Listen to this. So that means... Let's say she loses tomorrow and she wins either the Wimbledon or the U.S. Open. The Djokovic had a year like that. I think it was in one of those years where, yeah, he only won one major, but he was in the finals of like two or three majors, okay, of all the other majors. So that means he was dominant. So basically, that's my point. You say, Magic Man, what's the point? The point is, this could still be Simona Hollop's year. If she wins, even if she doesn't win the French Open, if she, if, she, if she wins, if she doesn't win the French Open tomorrow, but she wins the U.S. Open and the Wimbledon, or the U.S. Open, or the, or, or or the U.S. Open or the Wimbledon, she, she could still be the most dominant player, being in three uh, Grand Slam finals, one major, and plus number one in the world. Okay, tennis preacher Simona Hollow, the tennis. Princess, <laughs> you know the tennis prophet is saying that. Have mercy. Have a good one, people.